operating on a frequency of 52 megacycles by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. A test program follows. statement at least that these technical problems are not insurmountable. Uh, and again, only two games this week, as we described before, there was the other game was to, there's a disqualification. So well, it doesn't matter, once you get a 2-0, it doesn't mean that yeah. the third game doesn't matter anymore. Oh ah, yeah, but some, <laughs> so, both of our fans may still want to watch the game. I mean, hey. So we're going to go quickly go through the tables here, and then we're going to finish at a, a slightly earlier than normal um, because of the less. So I'm going to pull up the... Uh... And what, caught, what really surprised us is something that I brought up in the admin chat as well. A lot of the favourite teams, all of the teams that when we were looking at in the top 32 and the top of the group teams have been knocked out. Yeah. I mean, well, let's just start there. The AFK, Peter, Stephen and Madame Pompera was the top of a group. They've been knocked out by Team Mavericks, HK. I, I would like to see Litops actually look into this and see how many top of the group teams are left, how many fourth place teams went forward. Because those are the Cinderella story teams. Well, Russian Smiths did not. <laughs> uh, KIP were top of their group, though. Uh, Amber yep. Mimium were top of their group. Sloppy Lab were, were top of the group, but they got knocked out to the Key Frogs. And remember, the Key Frogs came top of the bottom cut last time, so they really are. They did. They, well, first, uh, but Carl, the undefeated Key Frog, did lose his red game against ST Russell. Well done, Mr. Russell. Uh, and thank you for being one of our Patreons as well. Uh, the Friendship, uh, AFK, they were... I mean, actually, the top team here are the teams that came Ooh, top of the groups. Okay. Hold on a second. They've raised a very good point in the uh, chat. So What's let's that? put the disc group. So the disc group... Let's have a look. I'm putting it up uh, now. The top four teams, Amber Minimum, are still in. Not finished with Yamamook, uh, is still in. Seeking noodles. Uh, Seeking noodles are out. And Hamburg Luncheons want to in. So, out of the top four teams in this, three of them have made it through to the top 16. Wow. Did not see that happening. Hamburg Luncheons won were fourth in their group as well. So, they're one of the Cinderella story deck teams. Yes, yes, they are. And they beat cute. Which is <laughs> definitely not a, a, a light system. Um, no. So, um, if it is nephew, no. So, what do you want to think of? So, medical quota be not much to protect. I mean, this this is all sort of. It, to be frank, it's a new bunch of teams. Yes, there's a couple of teams: KIP, Team Mavericks, HK are there. Team Xena are there. Who were there last time? New York City, who I've been cheering on. I, I'm not even sure. Oh, why uh, are there I mean D20B we only had one D20 team beforehand the Hamburg Lancer ones were there before but good to see they here not finished with your um, mooks was the first this, time they been up for a while this is a monumental moment for the AC regulars as well with both can't touch this teams being knocked out they win the AC side pot they're the only Archon's corner deck uh, team left in the top cup yeah that is true that is true so but, I, I, yeah. I, so who's your feature game for this week Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I've already featured Key Frogs and I'm a minimum in the past. Team Kip Cena, we've done. And Kip, Kip and Hong Kong Mavericks could be really good here. Fun time but at zone. The same time, at the same time, that's going to be a pain to record. Well, so is D20B <laughs> in New York City. Uh, old Paddies and Better Call Color could be interesting. Starship Looters and Madrid Archons could be very interesting. Uh, Hamburg Atlanteons and Nvidia Gleeful Net f Fuse. I'm... Again, any any of the sixteen games, any of the sixteen games could be absolutely amazing. So yeah, good luck in trying to arrange that one. Yeah, I need to. I'll probably pick in the morning and go from there. We'll roll but, it. So as long as no games have already been played, we'll roll a dice. Well, um, later. 
I, I mean, this is going to be a re going from 32 to 16, because usually this would be our starting point. But seeing the 32 and seeing how many of the usual top cut teams that we've seen from like the last, let's say, Cold 6 and Cold 7, because that's where we did the group stages. <coughs> it's really interesting to see a, essentially a new batch of teams. Yeah, especially with like this is Kip's uh, second event after coming back. Coming back, this is Keyfog's second event. This is Team Coxina's second event. This is D Twenty B's first event. Definitely, uh, this is Invidious's Green Nephew's first event, I believe. I believe so. Yes. So, but if we move on to the second cut, I mean, here we go. Bootcamp X not knocked out so salty. Final Signal Alpha knocked out or oh, drop. There's a lot of drops in here, so, uh, which yeah, we always see in the second group. Uh, MTC, Sparker, playing Strange Gizmos, that would be an interesting game to see. Uh, Hypno Key Frauds, we, 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 we had a drop last week. We are dropping this week, so no kind of in Austria will go through to the first to the top, top eight yeah. team. Um, Christoph, if you're watching this, could you pass on that message, please? Um, then we have Glitch Key versus South Wales Snecklifters. Uh, this will be an interesting game. Very much so. Uh, and then we have the Sting Masters versus uh, Small Smudge Altricity, who are very much fighting here, and I think they'll be the key frogs of the Coat Nine Smudge Altricity. Um, uh, they'll take this coat. They'll take this coat, and it, I think this is the first coat for a, a few, while. And they, not to downplay the pre, like the first few coats, but the number of teams and the quality of the the players in the team, uh, the quality of plays the teams make has dramatically increased as the coat has gone on. The, yeah. Each coat, we see our players ev like evolve their play styles and get a lot better, and that's why we see such variance in the top coat. Definitely, definitely. Um, great to see Break Games LV are still in, in their fighting versus Burgess and Switch, so that would be another good one to watch. Ooh, very interesting. Bootcamp X2 will be playing Alpha Pendula, and, and the Crystal University versus Key for Fridays. I mean, these are all good teams. I mean... Yeah, uh, so, uh, and the hypno key frauds. Uh, but yeah, strange gizmos and MTP spark would definitely be my one to watch here. Strange gizmos came very close to make it into the top cuts, as did MTP spark. So it'd be a very interesting one to see how that goes down in the second cut. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, we have the first round of the third cut. Yes, it was so many buys last round. Well, the problem is we didn't have 16 teams, never mind 32. So uh, we had, I think, 14 teams that were from the ones that didn't want to drop that wanted to continue. Um, and, and so this is the, so we still have four buys this round. So actually, we only had 12 teams who were playing. And the way I've done it, that I, I've kept, I've tried to keep it not as quite as neat as I could have done. But we are always going to be keeping the going forward. If a team drops from a cut, we don't instantly replace them. After the playoffs, we don't instantly replace them from the team lower in the group. Uh, it will be they will then be listed as a drop on that group. Yeah. Um, it, it's very confusing, but it, mean, it just means that you're not going to immediately be paired up with teams that did a lot better than you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've also seen the SES Steelers and the SES Sharks are in separate sides of the bracket. So if they both do really well, we could have a, uh, a Sheffield final. Face to face in real life. And I think one of us would have to make the trip there if that was to happen. <laughs> um, in fact, secretly, I hope it is. Um, and that was to that'd be, that'd be really cool. I imagine. Uh, I imagine we could get uh, maybe we could talk Steve or Carl into filming uh, to playing that for Crazy Killer Machine. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. And uh, but I will be there if they do it face to face. I'll make the effort. You just want to get out of the house for more than a day. Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, but in terms of the matches for this week, which are the top sixteen, um, probably Templar, Sanctum, and Toads, because the two mm. good teams are always seem to hit issues. Uh, yeah, I, I was really hoping to get a Key Frogs versus Toads game at some point, but they just seem to keep missing each other. I'm sure we're manager at Coat Nine. I think two great teams. It's just unfortunate the way it's gone. So the last thing I'm going to do is I want to pick up the uh, who's top of the first event side pop. Um, oh yeah. Well, this is again. This is everyone. This is at, this is at the end of the group stages, and we never covered this last week because I did tell break two and I wasn't here. Um, okay. But just looking at this, is we've got three teams where this is their first event. Now all these teams, I believe, have members who have played before, but they're all on six wins. I mean, you couldn't separate 
I would say if you're a first team, looking at this list here, you're more likely to have done better than a recurring team. I mean, apart from the Russian Smiths, who did really well in the group, uh, so Amber Minimum uh, uh, in the top 16, D20B top 16, 1 a.m., unfortunately got knocked out in the top 32, same but, Russian Smiths. But um, by Amberium, so it's not like it's... Yeah. Invidious uh, Sleeve or Nephews on the top 16 as well. AFK, Steve, uh, Peter Steve and Madame Proprio. They were knocked out so, top 32. I mean, looking at... The top was like one, two, Sorry, three, the, the four, AC Regulars are still there. Madrid Arkansas are still there. The yeah, South Wales Snake like the, are still there. I mean, the South Wales Snake Lifters are uh, cut two. South Wales South Snake yeah, Lifters two. My mistake, yeah. But we're looking at a lot of the first time, the first uh, event teams. Five. Be, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot, a, well, more, a, a lot of them made it into top 32 and a lot of them advanced into that and looking at teams like Kip and Team Coxina which is the, this is their second event they've done really well but then we've also still got people like Not Finish with Yoma Moog and uh, Hamburg Atlanteans bringing in the regulars it's it's a nice mixed bag and this is something we see something I bring up every time we get to this point uh, but it's good to just see the constant changing of the top 8 uh, you know the top the, of the top cut the Every event, there's different teams that are up there, and each time, there's a couple of teams up there that have no idea how they've made it hit this way. And for those of you who this is your first event, and from that, can't touch this. The Aces, uh, who won Coach Seven, every single round of their top cut, they expected to lose, and yeah. even when they got to the finals, they expected to lose, and they managed to take the entire thing. So anyone in this top sixteen could go on to win this just because you're up against a team that might have been here since the beginning or a team that you know is a powerhouse of their country don't give up because as Karen said in the swindle breakdowns of decks in coat and in keyforge a game can swing on a dime one mistake one bad draw one messed up turn and you can take full advantage and walk away with that win and it's a good lesson for life as well <clears throat> exactly yeah so I think that brings our show to a close today, significantly earlier than normal. Um, so, uh. Well, no, it's just only 20 minutes, and that's usually what the game would be. Yeah, exactly. 20 minutes earlier. Uh, so, uh, thanks everyone for watching tonight, guys. I hope you found this useful. Again, we always want feedback, we always want to know. Sign up for Coat 9. Sign up for Coat 8.5. Is that live now? Uh, I'm going to put the sign up sheet into the 8.5 in a second, yes. Cool. And uh, we look forward to see you guys all, all, all coming and hopefully here next week to go through top 16 to 8. Cheers, everyone. Have a great, great I'm evening. I've got to get the credits up. You want me to put the credits up? Well, have like, you actually got the credits up? Yeah, and I've even updated it for the patrons. Wow. Right. See you next week, everybody. Oh. <clears throat>